Hello and welcome to the EP Tech Group. Wanted to talk a bit today about label printers. And this is kind of an ongoing uh, series of videos that we've been doing for uh, kind of a selector guide, helping our customers select uh, barcode scanners, mobile computers, and now today, label printers. And as always, you can see the uh, depth and breadth of our, uh, of our demo gear too, because we have a lot of demo gear here around uh, at the MP Tech Group. And uh, so, let's get into this, let's get started. So, um, kind of, you know, what I'll call the UPS printer. Uh, the, what we call a plastic clamshell printer. Uh, this is the most economical printer uh, that's on the market. Uh, this is the Zebra. This is, uh, in this case, a, a ZD6 series. Uh, there's a ZD4 series that doesn't have quite the display and all of that. Uh, this one is a thermal transfer printer. Uh, you can see that there uh, is the ability to hold a ribbon in here, uh, but you can get these without the ribbon. So you can get these just direct thermal, and this printer is about two-thirds the size when you do that. It, it's really small. Um, again, um, the most economical way to go, but not always the right printer for what you're trying to do. And the key word there is duty cycle. Uh, gosh, Dave, I'm, you know, I'm printing, and they're direct thermal labels, and I print 10 a day. And that's all I need. And uh, I don't want to spend a lot of money for a printer. Uh, this might be a good option for that, even if you're doing thermal transfer, label printers or labels, uh, uh, this might be the way to go. Downside, and again, I say duty cycle because, uh, and that has to do with how many are you trying to print a day? And one of the limiting factors of that is the media. It's a tiny ribbon. It's, you know, it's, you know, maybe a, um, it's, it's a few hundred feet of ribbon versus more like 1,476 feet on the larger printers. And it, uh, the, the media itself, the labels themselves, one inch core, four or five inch OD, uh, that, that goes inside of this. It's just not that big of a, a printer, so it doesn't handle that large of a size um, of, of, of a roll of media and a roll of ribbons. So, low-end plastic clamshell printers might be an option for you. Stepping up to, by the way, this is the desktop series. These are the tabletop. Uh, so these are all ZDs, these are all uh, ZTs for the tabletops. The ZT2, the ZT, two versions of the ZT4, and then the ZT6, this is the Mac Daddy of, of the printers. So uh, we usually try to encourage a customer to not necessarily go with this, but to go with this. Uh, a ZT230, the newest version of this is the ZT231. And this does take full roll of ribbons, uh, three inch core, eight inch OD. You can get a thousand four by six labels um, on a roll in this printer and uh, it'll print uh, for a good long time. And um, also, it's got metal. Uh, the print head's a little bit more stable. It's gonna print a little better. It's gonna be able to throw some heat. If you're running synthetic uh, labels with a resin ribbon, probably should step up to this. It's gonna do a better job. And again, if you go, Dave, I'm printing hundreds and hundreds of labels a day. I don't think I wanna quite go to one of these. Um, I don't need some of the features that we're gonna talk about in these. I just need it to come out. I'm gonna tear it, I'm gonna peel it, I'm gonna stick it. Um, we'd encourage this, at least this level of a printer. So ZT230, now the 231. Uh, ZT4, uh, and it's a 410, now 411, 420, now 421. Same size media as this, uh, but you're starting to get into some more options. Um, this will do what's called a passive peel. These have passive peels on them. You can tell because of this. And what the passive peel will do is, hey, I want my operator, it's gonna print the label, I just want them to pick it and stick it. I don't want them to have to tear it, worry about peeling the label off the liner and not gotta throw the liner away, put, put it on. I want the label to be uh, peeled and presented to the operator. Uh, that's what these printers will do. This one will do that as well. Uh, and these printers will actually do an active take up where the liner on the back can actually be rolled back up inside of the printer. So you really have a waste free operation. Uh, you can print a thousand four by six labels. It'll uh, peel them off the backing, present them for the operator to take with the adhesive ready to stick onto something. Uh, these will do that in a passive mode like you see here, but also with a, a full active rewind for the, for the waste. Uh, inside of the printer. This is more like, gosh, I'm printing a thousand labels a day, maybe a couple thousand labels a day. Uh, again, you could just see it's bigger, uh, everything's a little beefier, everything will dissipate the heat of uh, printing continuous labels, you know, over and over and over, over long periods of time. 
Uh, these ZT4s are, these are really the workhorses. These are what we sell most of our customers. Manufacturing, logistics, this is what we uh, really sell a lot of. But uh, there's the scenario that says, gosh, Dave, I, gotta, I need to print labels all day long. I got four by six labels. I'm even going to print them roll to roll. Uh, I'm going to turn this into a little mini production plant of labels. Uh, and I need to print a lot of labels. I mean, maybe tens of thousands a day. This thing's going to run almost nonstop. The ZT6, and like you see, there's a, a 410 and a 420. There's a 610. There's a 620. I didn't want to carry it up here because it weighs a lot. Uh, just kidding. We didn't have one in demo. But there is a 6-inch wide version of this uh, ZT6 series available as well. Uh, kind of what I said on barcode scanners. Sometimes people buy the high-end barcode scanner, not necessarily because they need it, because they don't ever want it to break. They, these things last for years and years. These things just rock labels all day long. Uh, one of the problems with these is 10 years later, still working. Uh, so there's not good planned obsolescence by Zebra uh, on, on these higher end printers. But ZT6 series, got to print labels all day long or it's mission critical. I don't want it to ever fail. Uh, that's an option there. Uh, we're going to talk about mobile printers. We're going to kind of get into more specialty printers as we move forward here. And we're going to talk about mobile printers. The traditional mobile printer is the hip printer. The put it on my hip or I got a lanyard across my shoulder and I'm going to carry this. It's direct thermal only. There are no ribbon options for this. So you're going to make a, um, a, a label that will last for days, maybe weeks. But if you try to put a label from here outside um, or expect it to last as a, you know, as a document proof of something for years and years and years, archival, uh, not a good option. But I need a 4 by 6 label to go on something. My operator is mobile. Maybe they've got a mobile computer and they need a hip printer. This is the option, uh, and we sell a lot of these for that, for that reason. Uh, one of the downsides, uh, three-quarter inch core, uh, two and a half inch OD. Four by six labels, a hundred, not a thousand, a hundred on a roll. So not meant to be high volume, uh, but if you need mobile printing, uh, that's an option. Here's one of our secret weapons. Uh, people don't talk much about this, but you can take this plastic clamshell printer and you can put it in a carrying case. And I was gonna open this up if I don't get too clumsy with it, but um, you know, it, it's basically that, um, that same printer inside of here, but it's got a battery pack. There's a base on here with a battery. You can get a good long life out of it. Uh, they did a really smart thing where the charger um, that just powers the regular printer powers the batter, battery pack. And the battery pack can be, I won't show you back here, but the battery pack can easily come out. It's a nice, big, heavy battery pack. You can get a full shift out of this. Uh, come out, go back in, and again, gets charged by the same power supply that comes with that printer. So, hey, I need thermal transfer. Um, you, can, you can do thermal transfer with this. It's, it's basically that printer inside of this case. So, outdoor, need thermal transfer labels. Can't do this. I, I tell customers it's a toaster. It's the size of a toaster. So if your operations will take a toaster, <laughs> then you can use that. Last thing, everything here is what I would call, and what Zebra calls, data labels, black on white labels, mostly barcoding and text, you know, ID plates for products, uh, shipping labels, you know, product case labels, things like that. That's what these are made for, black on white barcodes. But if you need to do color, so uh, say you're in an industry uh, you know, uh, that, that has to have color uh, for warnings or hazards. Uh, we do sell uh, the Epson uh, color ink jets, the color work printers, uh, kind of the same label size as that, a little bit smaller than the uh, three inch core, eight inch OD. Uh, but uh, we have customers who will go in there and they're stocking hundreds of different of, uh, labels because the colors are all different. And they're just overprinting the black uh, data that they need at time of printing. You can print everything here. By the way, you can print decorative labels on the, with this. You can, you can print a wine label or a jam and jelly jar label. You can do all kinds of things. Paper labels, poly labels, uh, you know, they're color fast. Uh, this is a, a kind of a game changing technology. It's been a slow start. It's been, it's been around for a while. Uh, it is inkjet, not, not thermal transfer. Uh, but we have more and more customers uh, going to these. And again, getting rid of those uh, rooms full of label stock and just stocking a blank white label and printing the color and the text and everything all at once. Like our other videos, 
at the end of this, I, I kind of reflect back and go, gosh, this is where we really come in handy because oh, I just need a label printer. Well, there's a lot of factors and a lot of things to think about. We've got the demo gear. We've got the folks to work on them. We can come to your site, help you evaluate what uh, is the best printer for you. EMP Tech Group, always the best place to reach us. Thanks for your time. Thank you.